Hey guys, okay, hang on, let me just fasten this camera so I don't drop it because I've been known to drop a lot of things. Okay, hey, good evening, this is Noel from Daily Muscle and um, the reason I wanted to do this video is really to talk about what healthy restaurants are doing, now not all, now the cool thing is, um, well, Malaysians, you would have noticed right now that there are a lot of healthy cafes and restaurants coming up and I'm seeing on my Instagram feed all my friends hanging out in these new cafes and um, Ian just uh, put something on his Instagram story of this really healthy looking meal and it's Great, it's really great because two or three years ago we didn't have all these options. The only place we could eat a healthy meal would be to head anywhere that sold a salad or we were just left to try and make these meals on our own. We could just see it in magazines and it was a lot of hard work to get healthy meals. The cool thing is there's been so many restaurants um, like for example Goodness Greens Cafe which I believe is the first real true um, cafe which serves fully customizable salads and ever since those guys came around um, there have been many others okay the reason why all these restaurants are popping up is because I think the the market and the people in Malaysia are way more conscious now about our health we are we're working out more we're eating better and hopefully getting healthier okay so but here's the thing now that we have so many restaurants um, how do we really know whether the foods that they have is really good for us or not? Because here's the thing, just because you go and eat something in a healthy restaurant doesn't mean that what you're eating may be the healthiest item. Because restaurants are a business, right? And businesses need to make money. So if you want to keep the people coming, you have to have foods that taste really good and you know, not everybody's going to eat healthy every single day. So you have all kinds of treats and, and you can go to a, to a healthy restaurant and still buy something that's deep fried. And I don't blame the restaurants because restaurants, healthy cafes want to cater to a whole group of people. But I need you watching this right now. We, the consumer, need to be aware because a lot of us think that just because I eat in a healthy restaurant that tells me that everything they serve is from the farm or from whose garden or, or I don't know, the cow was just from across the street. I don't know, but just because it says it's healthy, it doesn't mean that it's a license for us to go in there and eat anything we want and expect that that's going to be the most nutritious thing of all. So the key thing here is awareness. I posted something on my Instagram um, just like two hours ago and it's, it's going crazy. If you're not following me on Instagram, please, this is my handle. You got to go check it out. Um, this post really gives a little comparison about, you know, so Subway is perceived as to be a kind of healthy fast food. You talk to anyone who's done any kind of diet or something and they're going to tell you that, yeah, I'm eating a Subway. It's just, it's just easy and marketed as a healthy place. Doesn't mean you can't get healthy stuff there. No, you can, but you got to know how to make the right swaps. You got to swap the meats. You got to make sure you don't overdo the sauces. So I put that post up just to give you a comparison that just because it's, it's, it doesn't matter where you eat, it really matters what you're eating. Now, this also applies if you go to an unhealthy restaurant. So that means technically, um, and a lot of people do this, a lot of people who know how to make proper food decisions do this, they go to a fast food, and if you know what to swap, if you know that you could take the bun off, or you could swap the meats, or you could double the meats, and you could scrape the sauces off, or ask them to add the veggies. By the way, did you know that you can actually go to a McDonald's drive-thru? and tell them that you want extra veggies and they actually have that option on the cash register extra veggies i don't think they charge you i think it's free and you open your burger and it's boom it's three times well it's just they are veggies but just in case you didn't know so the the lesson behind this whole video and the reason i wanted to do this really before i start to ramble on too much is that it all boils down to you making the right choices so you can go to a fast food or a Chinese restaurant or a Malay cafe like Pedas Pedas that we have downstairs here um, at the lighthouse. 
You can go anywhere. If you know what to order, if you know how to ha have your meals right, you can actually order something healthier. And just because you go and eat in a restaurant that says they're healthy or they're selling you something and they, they, they talk about all the health benefits, doesn't always mean that it's the healthiest and best thing for you, okay? So we the consumer need to know and I'm doing this whole series of posts on my Instagram comparing and highlighting the things that a lot of restaurants tend to hide and you know, as I was doing my research over the past few days, going to the websites of some of the cafes that we have here, um, the people that sell cold pressed juices and there's so many companies right now, I'm not singling anyone out, but it's interesting to find that some of these websites either mask or try to be very vague about the nutritional information that they provide instead of laying it all out there because they're afraid that people are going to get um, cautious if they actually find out how much sugar, for example, can sometimes be in some of the juices. So just because a cold press juice is sold to you and you say it's good, doesn't mean that you can drink 10, 10, you can drink 10 of it and get away with it being healthy too much of a good thing can still be a bad thing okay so at the end of the day so if you're wondering now man this is so hard so what is the number one healthiest option it's you know if you ask me it's always going to be home cooked food because you have full control of what goes inside that's me making an omelet there with tons of veggies and some a grilled beef patty and avocado and some hot sauce see i get to choose the sauce that i want to put in i get to choose the meat that goes in i get to choose that i want to use less oil problem solved but the reality is that you know we don't have the time i wish i had the time to cook three times a day and to do this but who today has the time to cook twice a day maybe once a day if you're lucky so just being real, chances are high, we're all eating out in the restaurants and if you have a little bit of extra budget, you're eating out in a healthy restaurant um, or you're eating in some place that uh, you're getting healthy meal deliveries. Um, you know, it it's just really boils down to making the right choice, all right? So if there's one thing you want to take away from today's video is that just because you're eating in a restaurant that says they're healthy or they're organic or they're vegetarian, it doesn't mean it's the healthiest thing for you. Sure, it may be better than the restaurant that sells deep fried chicken by the roadside, but there's always going to be um, options for you. All right? So that's it. Um, please, please, please head over to my um, Instagram at Daily Muscle. Massive conversation happening there. It's going to turn into a war zone. Um, be a part of it, okay? And let me know whether you want me to do this kind of post and this kind of videos. And if you're wondering where am I with these cool lights, this is Daily Muscle Lighthouse where I spend most of my time um, working with our clients, all right? So have a great uh, rest of the day. Um, eat well, rest well, stay active. And I hope to talk to you again at the next video.